Hey folks, this is Augie of Your Two Cents, and today we are going to look at my top 10 list for summer 2018. And I thought I'd do something different. I usually do an under 40 and over 40, but I've just been working so much, uh, I got another idea uh, about uh, doing a top 10, a little bit different, but I think uh, I can legitimately do this and uh, be a help to you. And there's some high priced and low priced in here. Uh, but I just went with the nose of Alberto Marialis, uh, and I just thought, I always call him the king of clean, and uh, I thought, you know, I think I have enough of his fragrances in my collection. We could do a top ten for summer, and uh, it would work, and uh, also kind of an homage to him and his work. And uh, I don't have everything, so obviously <laughs> that would be pretty crazy if I did. I have every fragrance by everybody, uh, but I don't, And uh, but I do have quite a few designers, and uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. I do even have an honorable mention, mainly, I'm wearing it right now, uh, this is Aqua de Parma Colonia Intensa, uh, came out in 2007, and uh, starts off with a lovely citrus. You know, it seems a little soapy, and of course it's a cologne, so, you know, I have this little sampler, and I've really been, as if you watch my channel, I sometimes have problems with the atomizers of like, you know, how much juice am I putting on? Is it equal to how much I would put in on from a big bottle? So, you know, it's always hard for me to tell longevity, but the, as far as the fragrance goes, it's wonderful, and it's just very clean, uh, elegant. Uh, uh, really nice, but I can really just give an honorable mention because I just have the sampler, in my opinion, uh, based on what I can do there. So, getting into the top ten, uh, I like all kinds of fragrances if you watch this channel, uh, but I do like uh, trying to find like really low priced ones and I like kind of like what I would call retro fragrances. They're still being made, and uh, <clears throat> you know, if you want to mix it up once in a while or you're maybe just uh, stuck in the 80s <laughs> or, or 90s and just kind of like uh, a fragrance from there. Uh, I like I like throwing those in there and this one was a nice surprise. It basically is given away for $12.59. Uh, I would call it wet, retro. This is Aqua Quorum and uh, you know it has pretty good numbers. Uh, for Grantica on their little list of uh, you know how they rate it, it gets a 3.93 so that's not bad out of 5. Uh, I think about a hundred boats. Uh, so you know you can get this for twelve fifty nine, and basically, you know it has that quorum DNA, which to me is like a retro fragrance, uh, but it adds you know aquatic notes to it, so it's kind of fresh. And I have been wearing it, and I kind of like it really as a work set. I have more of a uh, you know a blue collar type job, if you will, and. Uh, yeah, it just kind of fits for me. I, I like it. Uh, you know, pretty potent, last all day, you know, quorum DMA. So it's DNA. So yeah, that's sort of nice. So that's number 10. And these are in order of, uh, of uh, I try to do it by uh, timeline. This one didn't have a date. Uh, that one came out in 1994. Uh, this didn't have a date, uh, but it is, I figure, I'm assuming a little bit older. This is Baldessarini. Baldessarini. Delmar, and I always keep meaning to review this, just to think, aquatic pepper, a very masculine summer scent, and uh, you know the name, uh, reminds me of Delmar, California, uh, I don't know if there's any connection, but it's a very, like I say, a lot of pepper, and it just, woody, uh, dry down to, uh, just really nice, uh, something different, uh, very masculine, uh, probably maybe a little bit, you could uh, carry it more into the evenings of summer nights. Uh, I, I just really like it, and I just I need to review it. So that's that's number uh, nine. Moving on, probably the fragrance that I need to spend more time with than any other on this list. This is Lanvin's L'Homme, and this, you know, Alberto said this is like a clean, let me get it right, elegant white shirt. And it very much is that. There's some floral notes in there. It's just, uh, you know, lavender. It's just really nice, but it's like if I did have uh, more of like a dumb grab type of fragrance, this would be one of them. Uh, the fact that it came out in 1997 just really shows, uh, you know, where uh, things were headed uh, as far as the clean fragrances go, and he was a big implementer of that. So, uh, Lavigne Lahome, uh, also. 
so far, uh, 10, 9, and 8, pretty reasonable. You can find them pretty reasonable out there on, on uh, the old fragrance net sphere. Uh, then, now we're talking, this is 2001 uh, Mugler Cologne number 7, uh, expensive bar of soap. Uh, unisex, <sighs> you know, it's just, it's just uh, really wonderful. Probably, you know, a lot of people put it on the spring list, uh, but anyhow, yeah. Just a wonderful, clean fragrance. Uh, I think everybody probably should have this if you're into fragrances. This is one that's like kind of a staple uh, that I think, yeah, you know, if your buddies or people thought, oh, well, what's the difference between a regular person and somebody into fragrances? Uh, you know, having something like this, I don't know if everybody would have that, but it's just really a good, solid gem uh, from the past. And then, getting into one of my big favorites, and this one might be a little bit of a stretch for people, uh, because of it being a summer list, but I don't think so. This is Malbossen, uh, let's see, is it Pour Homme? Pour Homme, yeah. They, some say Loam, say something, yeah. So, yeah, Malbossen, and this is lavender and cinnamon, and that was the thing with the cinnamon note. It's like a spicy lavender. Uh, I really love this fragrance. Uh, I think you could use it year-round. Might not hold up the best in uh, winter, but I think for like a, a little bit more uh, darker, clean scent. Uh, this works really well. And uh, yeah, just really solid. Uh, I don't know. You know, I like the house too. Uh, they're a little bit oddball, but I like them. 2003 this came out. Uh, just really a neat little fragrance. Uh, try it out. You know, try before you buy maybe, but it's just solid, clean cinnamon lavender. I think it's wonderful. So uh, moving on. I think they're all wonderful. <laughs> this one, <clears throat> probably the most unique out of this uh, list. This came out in 2006. No, that's not right. Maybe. Yeah, 2006, let's say. This is Angel... Sh I, got, I can't read my own the writing. Schlesler. Schlesler. Essential for men. And, uh, you know, if you are familiar with uh, Givenchy Play Intense uh, and that coffee note, this is kind of like fresh coffee. It has like an apple note and it has a coffee note, and to me it would work for summer. Uh, it doesn't seem that dark, so for me, like fall, winter, it doesn't seem that type of scent. You know, there's a brightness to it. You know, it's it's a little bit uh, unique, you know, the opening. It seems a little off-kilter, but for the most part, uh, you know, that lasts about 10 minutes, and then it just seems interesting and enjoyable, and I like it. it it's a nice little scent, and uh, yeah well worth having. And I'm trying to look here. Yeah, yeah, uh, just really uh, a good little fragrance. Uh, if you want to try something a little adventurous, once again, another cheapie, kind of fell through the radar. Uh, very reasonable out there. So, you know, you could buy a sample, but more than likely, you know, some of these are just really cheap, low price. So, uh, nice little fragrance. Moving on. Uh, let's see, where are we? This one is not here. Here it is. <laughs> Um, number four, this came out in 2008, this is Versace Pour Homme, I really don't need to say much about this one, uh, it's just, to me, a very youthful uh, summer fragrance, but I think anybody can use it, uh, but probably more than most, probably the most accessible, to me it smells what I would call modern, you know, and, and just, uh, just a great scent, uh, just a real brightness to it. Uh, Versace Pour Homme, and then talk about retro. This is not really, uh, as far as age-wise, retro. This came out in 2009. This is Ferrari Omo, and uh, you know this is it is a leather fragrance. So if you wanted to mix it up, uh, I would recommend the Aqua Quorum, and I would recommend this one. A lot of people say it's like Fahrenheit Light. Uh, I don't really get too much of a petrol vibe, but it is very much leather. Uh, there's a brightness to the opening. Uh, interesting. And, uh, you know, it, it's also kind of one of those year-rounders, but I think you could really wear this summer evenings if you have that leather type of vibe going on with a jacket or something. So, uh, very nice scent. Uh, you know, the Ferrari line is so excellent. You know, I think this one kind of gets overlooked. Uh, but one I do need to spend more time with, as well as the Labine and uh, get a review out. Uh, then, moving on to second to the last, this was a very pleasant surprise. This is Bulgari Mon, man, Mon, <sighs> breathe, 
Bulgari Man Extreme came out in 2013. Uh, you know, your typical kind of bright opening, but it has the note of cactus, and I don't know how to explain this except it's kind of like a bitter, woody greenness to it. Uh, I wore it one day. Uh, I, I love that Bulgari does their little travel atomizers. Uh, check this thing out. That's a pretty good sprayer on you know something like a travel thing, and I can buy refills. You just pop that out. Or you know, look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't know, is that a screw cap? No. But, you know, you can buy the holder, put it in there. Uh, some of the discounters have these, uh, and they're very reasonable. This one has the note of cactus, and it's just, uh, like I say, kind of a bitter, woody sharpness. And I got a compliment the other day when I was wearing it, you know, like somebody smells good, and, you know, she was talking to me. I was right in front of her, and uh, that's always nice. That was like the first time I wore it. Uh, and I just thought, like, with that sharpness, it might be a bit much, but maybe, you know, I, obviously not. Uh, so, seems to project. It's a Bulgari, so it's always a reasonable price. Bulgari Man Extreme. Check that out. That came out in 2013. Really just an excellent uh, fragrance there for summer. And lastly, uh, this is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. And I put a little dent in that. I, I like when they do the travel size ones. Now, funnily, funnily... I don't know, Atomizer, a little more straightforward on that one, but yes, you get basically the Aqua Di Gio DNA uh, with some added incense notes, uh, you know, classy, it, it, just wonderful. So, there it is, my top 10 summer for 2018, and homage to Alberto Morales. Uh, you know, here's the great thing about this list, I want to hear from you, because, listen to all this, uh, CK1, uh, the original Aqua Di Gio, Tommy, uh, by Tommy Hilfiger, uh, what else, Salvatore Ferragamo, uh, he's done fragrance as far as Givenchy, uh, totally skipped Issey Miyake, uh, he's done a few for them, and D Squared out of Canada, so uh, put down below, you know, what's some other, uh, and there are some great fragrances out there for summer that I don't obviously have on this list because it was kind of focused on one nose, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, out of that other ones that he's done, I'll put down there what you think I should have reviewed. Uh, not really big on Aqua Di Gio original, I just smelled it for so long, it's like I'm tired of it. But yeah, put down below, uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, as usual, there'll be more of these to come, and uh, please folks, be kind.